Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a secure um, login system for your website. Um, probably in the next video, I'll show you how to do this in a uh, iPhone app. But for right now, I'm showing you how to do this uh, in a web-based um, environment. So I'm using this system on the, my website, themarketshop.com, which is... I would guess it's, I'd say it's in beta stage, but it's still, I mean, it's full functioning. Um, check it out. There's some, what I think are some fun games um, to look at. Uh, you know, this one here kind of displays some lyrics, and you have to um, guess what the song is. And if you log in, then you have the ability to... Uh, um, you know, be a part of the leaderboards. And I'm actually working on a multiplayer game as well. And so uh, to, to do this, I use a couple different services. Uh, one being, the, the main one being Firebase, which is a great um, uh, data site that you can store data. And the, the neat thing is it uh, has real-time um, features where you click something and it'll appear on someone else's screen immediately. It's, you know, something similar to what you can get done with the, um, Node.js or something like that. So anyway, though, it's free to start out with. Um, if you get a ton of users, then you could upgrade to a paid account. But even then, you have to get a pretty high amount of users before you would really need to um, upgrade. You'd be making money at that point, I believe. So um, here's what I recommend you do then. You would, you would come to Firebase. You would uh, create an account here. I already have an account. Um, they have a legacy console, but you want to go to the new one, right? And like I said, I'm already um, logged in here, so I can click go to my console. You would just hit create an account. Um, and then you would hit create new project. And we'll say my test login in the United States. I create project. And so it takes you to this um, console page here, and uh, you have to choose what you're starting out with. We're doing a, a web-based one right now, so I'm going to click on this, and this gives you the code that you're going to need to have in each page where you want to have Firebase working, right? And so you really would just hit copy here. Um, I'm going to delete this project uh, afterwards, so okay with uh, showing you this um, and then you would paste that in your page um, so I have this this is my login page and that would uh, be pasted right here now I would put it over the top of that right and actually this script cannot be inside of a script let me get this out I'm already inside a script tag, so, and I already have this. If I scroll up, you'll see I have this right here, All right? And so I just replaced this part. This is the part that initializes Firebase. Um, um, then there's a another part that this works together with. I have a bunch of, of different methods here. Um, I, I guess I'll just go through and kind of show you. So. Um, this is for logging in. When you want to log in to Firebase, um, I have two text fields, an email and a password field, and it gets passed right in here through email and password. And this is the Firebase.auth method, right? And this doesn't work though unless you have this already initialized. Okay, so that's the key function, right? Um, so once that's initialized, then you can use all these sub methods. Um, so that's for logging in. This is for creating a user. And so this is the email base. If you want to create your own custom login. Um, the cool thing though, is that Firebase already comes working with, uh, a bunch of different, um, platforms like Facebook and Google. I, I'm using Google on my web page, but I give them the option to create a custom login. So if you see here, 
you have the option to create your own login. Like if, if you don't have an account, click sign up and show sign up. You can put in your email and password and it'll create an account or you can just sign in with Google. Um, and I'll show you, let me go back here. I'll show you that method. So this creates that account um, like that I showed you right there. And again, it's just using this right here. So that's to create. The other one was the login. And then if you see down here, here's the Google sign in. Okay. And I have a log out, sign out method as well, which works for both the Google and the custom email based login. Um, and then this method here is really nifty in that, again, this is the cool thing about Firebase. Um, this, just having this method here, um, it can, it automatically detects when you have logged in. And when you log in, then I show different things on the screen, right? Um, and so I actually have a message show up. Um, you are logged in with this email account. Um, you are not logged in. Please sign up. And so that's really cool. So if I kind of hit refresh here, you see that that is printed to the screen right there. Please sign up or log in. And you can do that below. Um, very cool. Uh, feature of Firebase that it can detect that automatically. Watch. So if I click sign in with Google, bam, and now I'm, I am signed in. Now I've already used this. Uh, first time it'll say, Do you want to allow the marketshop.com? And you hit allow. But now it says, Yeah, you're signed in. I actually have a um, uh, a auto username generator, and then I could you can, I have my users the ability to click to change the username. To a different one if they want that's beyond the scope of this. Um, and then now if I go to another you know, one of my games, you can see that they're logged in because I actually have this this method on each page of my website. And so it checks to see if they're logged in. And if they're not, um, it gives them a link to go and log in. Um, so the, all you have to do for each subsequent web, uh, web page is have this method. And the only other thing you need is that first um, initializing uh, Firebase code that I talked about in the beginning. Um, oh, so the third thing you will need is this, uh, this call right here, which gives you all the um, APIs for Firebase, right? So that's it. And then you, it's really quick and easy. You're up and running with your own, um, your own login system that is secure. And so just so you see, um, I do have the logout button that I, again, that syncs with the, uh, the function on here that is uh, da -da -da -da. sign out, right? And it, that signs out to you. So if I click that, it will sign out. And you have the option to log back in. Um, it's pretty nifty. Okay, so the one thing you will need to do that I didn't mention is you have to go into Firebase and you're going to um, click on this off link over here at the left, right? And when you click on that, you want to go in the sign in method. Okay. And you want to um, enable these. You want to enable email. So that's the one that I'm using, right? The email one. Um, and then you want to enable Google. Um, but this kind of has a, a second step to it um, where you need to, um, for this web SDK, you're going to have to click on this. Good. Make, make sure this is filled in. If this is not filled in, you may have to hover over this question mark and click on this little Google API console. And when you do that, it should actually create, um, if you know, for your Google account. You, now I've already had this set up. You may have to set up your Google API's account. Um, I've had this for so long, I forget if it's just a natural thing that's a part of a Google account, like a Gmail and Google Drive, or if you have to actually set it up, but I believe you have to set it up, and um, it, you know it, it should only take two seconds to just just log in to Google APIs. And again, you can do that link right from here. Just kind of hover over the question mark, click on that. It'll take you to this. If you need to create an account, create it. 
But if, if not, when you click on that, it actually creates a project for you. Um, and then you just need to, you get the client ID and, and that stuff, right? Um, and it, uh, for me, it automatically put it in there because I, I guess I already have it the account. Um, but you may have to um, just get them from that from the uh, Google API's website. I hope that's helpful. Now I, I'll show you that this, you know, I have HTTPS, I have a secure um, a website working here. And that's important because um, it'll actually, if you don't have HTTPS, it'll work in Chrome and I think in Firefox, but it will not work on Safari. Um, you'll get an error, it won't let them log in. So I just used um, start SSL. I use the free option. I have a GoDaddy account, and so you can just create your uh, SR, S, CSR, I believe it is, in here. If anyone is interested in that process, let me know what server you have, and I'll show you how you do it with um, Start SSL. It's a good service, though. Um, and so, I mean, that's that's basically it. Now, I. You can use this Firebase for all kinds of things. It'll store data for you and everything. Um, I'm not really using that for this. I'm just using it for the login services only. Uh, so it's really helpful. So I use MySQL on the back end to uh, store data for my um, games. Um, so I hope you found this helpful. Um, let me see, is there anything? I'm gonna make all this code available. I'll actually share this code with you for my uh, login system. And so you can um, replicate it on your website if you wanted to. Um, let me know if you want anything else. Um, I, like I said, I hope that you found this helpful. And I'll uh, have a follow-up one that shows you how to do it on the iPhone. Thanks.